Yo, what up? It is Sunday, September 8th. We are about to do the 9th Legacy Elusive Target. I misspoke last time, it was the 8th, and I said the 9th. But last time was the 8th, this time is the 9th. It's called the Gunrunner, happens in Marrakesh. Um, let's go ahead and jump into the briefing. Good afternoon, 47. Your target is Vito Duric, arms dealer and sanctions buster. Although the subject of a global manhunt, the target has successfully evaded capture and prosecution for more than a decade. Tired of waiting for the slow wheels of international justice, the client has turned to the ICA. Intelligence places the target inside the Swedish consulate, most likely involved in the operation to extract Strandberg. The situation is fluid, but this is our best opportunity to eliminate him before he vanishes again. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Alright, so um, here's the intel. Uh, the method that I have in mind does not require us to have anything unlocked. Everything that we'll need, we'll be able to pick up on site. You can have, um, you can start at the the default starting location. Uh, obviously, in a suit, bring nothing with you. It'll be fine. So let me just go ahead and do that. Just have a quick. And we'll start in the you know default location. I have nothing unlocked here. You can even go ahead and. Um, I'll just pick the suit, because why not? Let's go ahead and do this. Good afternoon, 47. The Swedish consulate is besieged by protesters linked to the imminent coup. Our intelligence indicates the target entered the consulate with a transport vehicle, most likely carrying weapons. He has not been spotted since. Good hunting, 47. Okay, so we'll need to pick up this screwdriver and this Hello, wrench. Come in, come in. Um, and basically, what we're trying to do here is we're going to sneak into um, the the tunnel that connects the consulate uh, and the, well, the consulate to the uh, outside. And basically, inside one of those um, rooms in the underground parking garage is the target, right? But he's surrounded by a lot of soldiers, so the best way to kill him is to detonate a remote bomb, and that will cause him to run towards a certain area where we will be waiting and then we will um, sort of just keep bumping into him until he gets separated from this group and then after that it will be super easy to just take him out. So basically what I've done is I can pick up this, this screwdriver and the wrench is run over to this riot area and off to the side over here um, you can see these two guys are talking. Just wait for them to finish. You can even grab a crowbar over here. Okay, so we're just going to wait for them to disappear. Um, I don't even think you had to wait, but the important thing is to wait until the coast is clear over here. Then you can hop over. And we just want to go through this door. So, um, we'll just wait until like these guys turn around. You could probably just run and then it'll be fine, but... Let's role play a little bit here. Alright, so just like that, you're inside the consulate. I have an update, 47. Interpol has an ongoing operation to apprehend the target, and at least one undercover agent is amongst the target's guards. This does not invalidate the contract, so proceed at your discretion. So once we're here, we just want to hide behind the boxes and stuff and make our way toward this staircase. It should not be too difficult. And then 
You can use your instinct to wait until this guy is walking away. Once he does that, um, you know, take his disguise, pick up everything else, and then hide his body in his box. There should be another guy who comes around this corner, and we're going to want to knock him out and hide his body as well. So you can do this in any number of ways. For example, throw that. Stay on the alert. Just make sure it's out of view of that guy right there. And then we'll hide him in the same box as before. This is the most tedious part where we're just clearing out this hallway. Um, you know, but it's important to clear out this section of the hallway. The next part is not as important, we don't need to hide the bodies as much, but I will be doing it anyway, just to roleplay, and be safe. And you don't need to worry about anyone coming to distract you here. Uh, so you want to be careful of this guy because he is an enforcer, but because his attention is down, he won't see you at the same distance as usual. If I get closer, he'll see me, but I can just walk over to the side over here, and it should be perfectly fine. So, once you get to around here, uh, there should be two dudes up here. One of which will kind of like keep walking until he reaches the underground garage. How you boys holding up down there? Well, all we gotta do is pick up Strandberg at the garage and escort him back to HQ. non combat Happens don't know about this tunnel, so it should be a cakewalk. Almost a shame, really. Wouldn't mind seeing Strandberg get a taste of mob justice. Ah, take it you met him. Was there when the assault team brought him in. It's weird. Part of you wants to punch him in the face, part of you wants to give him all your money. It's a gift, I suppose. Tell me about it. Anyway, gotta get back to the garage. Later. Okay, so I'll probably just speed up this process like this. Hey, Command, I think I heard something. Moving in to investigate. Over. So uh, I just kind of drew this one dude away anyone a little here? bit. Hello, anyone? Ah! Just wanted this to go by a little faster. Um, otherwise, the guy I just put away will kind of walk down this way, and then this guy will walk into the next room and keep going. So, um, so if you miss your opportunity to do that, then you'll want to wait until um, this guy that I'm dragging right now is even around the corner so that the enforcer dude can't see. And then you'll want to take out this dude, who's currently in the closet. And then you want to take out the Enforcer dude, and then drag all their bodies back here. It's just a pain in the ass, so... Um, this was just a little faster. Uh, so yeah, now i got to take out the Enforcer dude, which you can do really easily from behind, because he never turns around. Um, so at this point, I do want to make sure to remember to pick up a, a remote explosive. You only need one, but there are three. Now, um, for this guy's body, as long as he's past this point, you should be fine, unless you somehow screw something up. Um, but for the sake of role-playing and also just being safe, I'm going to further drag his body just up one more flight of stairs and throw him in a closet. This area should be totally empty. There's a box right here. 
Okay. So, that was the most tedious part of this. Uh, lose a target. The hallway is clear. Um, all you have to do now... One thing you could do is puncture this gasoline drum. You could do this now, you could do it later, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you don't have to do it at all, I just want to set the target on fire. But um, feel free to kill the target any other way that you like. So um, basically we're going to run back to the garage. Which is over here. And um, just so you know why we're here, the target is actually, if you want to see him, he's actually by that table. Uh, there are some enforcers here that will see through your soldiers, guys. Um, if you, there he is right there in the, in the vest. So he doesn't really walk away from this area, which is why we're going to lure him at the bottom. Um, if you really wanted to explore this room without any enforcers, get the officer disguise. But um, that, that's what I did in previous runs of this, and I realized it was more trouble than it's worth. I could just do it this way. So basically what I want to do is throw the bomb. I want to say don't let anyone see you throw it, uh, but just throw it in some random corner, it doesn't really matter. And then detonate it. The target is evacuating 47. He will most likely be using an underground escape route to avoid the rioters. So once that happens, there will be a little bit of chaos. Obviously make sure the bomb doesn't injure anyone, otherwise you'll lose your rating. But um, just chill here, and then eventually the, the target and a squad of people will come running. So here they come. And uh, none of them are enforcers, which is great. Here they come. They will chill in this room for like two seconds. Which is why you don't really need to drag the bodies all the way into closets, but... I still recommend you do it anyway. So here they come. The alert will die down soon, everyone will walk back. Um, there's a bug in this. Uh, immediate danger seems to be over. One of the uh, one of the agents will like disappear. Yeah, see, he just vanishes for no reason. Um, but whatever. If you could take a couple steps back, you would set my mind at rest. So you see how I bumped into him just to um, separate him. Once that happens, no one tracks him anymore. You can do whatever you want with him. Kill him any way you want, pretty much. Uh, there's still one more room, uh, room for one more body, I mean, in that closet up there. Um, if you want to hide his body, but you don't have to because no one's going to come this way. Uh, I think what I'll do is... Hmm, so fire is an accident, I believe. So if someone finds his body, it should be fine. Uh, so we'll go ahead and just do this. The money has been wired to your account. Although I don't think anyone heard the shot anyway, so whatever. If I really wanted to, I could still hide his body as well in the box. But I'll just leave it. Um, and then from this point on, we're just going to escape the way that we came. Um, obviously, you're going to want to leave the gun behind. And I guess I'll just have some other item active. Take my suit back. And then just make sure you don't get caught at this next part. just over there.
so now I'm home free and then I just need to exit. Um, don't get careless and accidentally run into uh, the trespassing area. That would be a really shitty way to lose your name. How the speedrunners are doing. 41 seconds. Congratulations to this guy. I'll see you guys next time.